So water servers, a few words of reflection for you. Why do we have altar servers? What is the point of them? Boys, we don't need any candles, crosses, cerebrals, anything like that for our mass to be valid. If you come here on Monday morning, there's none of that. But it is as much the holy sacrifice of the mass. What takes place at holy mass? It's the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus, renewed in an unbloody manner. Jesus continues to offer his sacrifice to his Father in heaven. At Mass, heaven and earth merge, and the offering that Christ continues to make in heaven becomes present on the altar through what I say, through the twofold consecration. This isn't obvious, is it? It isn't obvious to someone looking in what is truly happening at Holy Mass. And thank God that you've received the gift of faith and that you, my altar boys, believe this. But it is your job as servers of the sacred liturgy to help the people here at Mass to believe that all this is happening. The things you are doing, the way you are praying, the manner in which you kneel, how you move, the way you respond, all of the things that you do are there to help these people realize, especially those who are still so unconverted, to help them realize At this Holy Mass, something outstanding, amazing, something supernatural is occurring. I have stumbled in at a most sacred ceremony at which heaven and earth are united. Boys, in heaven it is the job of the angels to continually serve Christ and to offer incense before him. At Holy Mass, there truly are angels, thousands of angels adoring our blessed Lord in the Holy Eucharist. But the thing is, we don't usually see them. It's your job as servers here at the Sacred Liturgy to be like the visible version of these invisible angels. And perhaps you can see the MC and the other senior servers as like the more senior angels. Let me summarize. What are you doing here as altar servers? You are models of prayer and faith for all the people gathered. You are the replacements for the angels. You symbolize the angels whose job it is to serve God in heaven. Now, thinking about these two things should truly affect the way you serve. It should affect it in every way. If you can think carefully about how close you are to Almighty God and to the mighty army of angels, I think you should be a little bit frightened when you come to Holy Mass and serve as you put on your cassock and cotter. Almighty God is all-powerful, and you are entering his domain when you come up here to the high place, to the sacred altar. Maybe you didn't know this, but in the Old Testament, some of the altar servers for the Jewish sacrifices were struck dead when they deliberately served badly and without respect. Although we haven't seen this happening here at Holy Mass, you should still remember that God doesn't change and he is offended and angered if you serve sloppily, if you joke about, if you just sit there and think about worldly things like what you're having for dinner, what game what game you're going to play this afternoon about football. 
The opposite is also true. If you serve in a way that is reverent, that is humble, that is full of concentration, Almighty God takes delight in you. You become one of his special friends. Your prayer at Holy Mass, whatever your intention is at every, at every Holy Mass, it will become all the more powerful if you are one of his special friends. The Mass is exactly the same as the sacrifice that our Lord offered on Calvary. There were some people that treated Jesus kindly as he offered his sacrifice to take away our sins. And there were some people that didn't. Remember how pleased our Lord was when Saint Veronica came and wiped his face when he was suffering for our sins. He was delighted with her and he made her a saint. You are as close to our Lord as Veronica was when you are serving at Holy Mass. But you are also as close to him as those Roman soldiers who are mocking or beating him, or like the high priest and some of those Jews, some of the faithless Jews who are being cruel to him. As altar boys, you can either be like Saint Veronica, like Our Lady, like Saint John, or you can be like those wicked soldiers. Let's all decide today to be like Saint John, Saint Veronica, Our Lady. If you are a model for people up here on the altar and getting closer to God than any others in the church, part of the deal means that you're now expected to be models when you get back down there with the others, with your family. You can't be living a double life, swinging the theorable on Sunday and then stealing from your mum on Monday. As servers, we can't be saying holy words up here and then cussing people at school a few hours later. It is the greatest honour and dignity to be a servant for Almighty God. The only thing that is higher in dignity is being a priest. And I hope that many of you are aspiring to the sacred priesthood. Because here on the altar, you are being prepared to be priests. Serving Almighty God doesn't stop when you take off the cassock. This is a commitment. This is something you're committing to as a life. A life of being a model, young, Catholic man. Of course, that means Holy Mass every Sunday without fail. Regular confession, every week. Wanting to know more about your faith. The one true religion that alone brings salvation. And praying at home, both with your family and on your own. Always praying the daily rosary. Always making an examination of conscience in the evening. And always preparing yourself well for the next time you serve at Holy Mass. The priests here in this church are here to help you, as are the MCs. Together, we can give great glory to God. By serving well, we can merit graces for this parish. We can give him glory. We can lead many more people to realise the true presence of Jesus Christ at Holy Mass and the great dignity of the Holy Sacrifice. May God bless you as you continue to serve at the Sacred Altar. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.